hello world, this is What's Up 290, and today I'm going to be showing you things, showing you some things you can do to help protect your network or computer from being hacked. I'm going to go over some things you can do to, per to protect yourself from uh, ARP spoof attacks, DDoS attacks, and, all, and a lot of the major big hacking techniques that are out there. So, that, so without further ado, let's get started. First, I'm going to go over how you can prevent uh, so prevent yourself from being affected by a man in the middle or ARP spoof attack. Man in the middle, it basically means that someone tries to snoop in on your connection and ends up getting your passwords or is able to hijack your website session as a result. So what you can do to protect against this is make sure, always make sure whenever possible that you're using secure websites. When you're using a secure website versus just a normal HTTP website, what that means is that the webs that your browser is basically scrambling your connection to the website and and going through a verification process, verifying that 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 the information you're sending is indeed only going to that website. You can know that you're using a secure version of a website. Basically, all the major web browsers, Chrome, Firefox, Safari, by when you're using a secure site in your URL bar, you'll see HTTPS in the URL bar and you'll see this kind of padlock here. And if you click the padlock, it'll say like website name, your connection to the site is private or the connection is secure or something like that. And if you click details, it'll show you the website's certificate and who it's verified by. And that it's been verified, meaning that it's, meaning that indeed it is a secure site. Whereas like if you, I can't really show you this, but whereas like if you, uh, if you go to a website and it, your, your browser will pop up with a message saying that like your web, your connection to this website is not secure, don't go through to that website because odds are it's someone trying to hack it so they can get your information. So if your browser does come up with that, a sort of warning message, don't visit the website. I can't really show you what that message looks like, but you'll see it. You, you know, you, it's, you, it's not that hard to figure out. You'll see it, you'll know what I'm talking about. So, that's about it, how you can defend yourself from ARP spoof and man in the middle attacks, is because, you know, as I said, secure websites are, ver secure websites are successfully verified and the connection is scrambled. So now I'm going to show you, and uh, actually one more thing, there's a way you can set your browser to redirect to HTTPS websites automatically when they're available. Um, Google Chrome and Firefox are the only two web browsers that I know for sure have this add-on, but I'll show you this. What you're going to want to do is, in your either Google Chrome or Firefox, install what is called HTTP, go to the Chrome Web Store, or uh, what's it called on Firefox, uh, addons.mozilla.org, if you're using Firefox, Chrome Web Store, if you're using Chrome, and install HTTPS everywhere. Basically what it is, it's an app for your browser that will automatically redirect you to a secure website and also, and verify the website and everything. So that's about it for how you can defend yourself against man in the middle or arch spoof attacks. And again, just if you if you know for sure that the website you're using is normally a secure site, and then you go there and like either your browser will show you a warning or up here you'll see like a cross over the padlock and say connection and and, it'll, and like the HTTPS won't be there, then don't sign into the website because it could be someone trying to hack you. And so basic, and now I'm going to show you how you can defend yourself from people getting your IP address and trying to DDoS you or hack, DDoS you or hack your IP or something like that. So what's your, so a, a great way to do this is by using what's called a VPN. If you don't know what a VPN is, it's virtual private network. And basically what it does is tunnels it, your connection through a proxy server and encrypts the connection as well so that 
when you're visit when you're going through the website through the VPN, uh, no one actually gets your IP address. Like I, I, I recommend when I recommend there's a whole bunch of different VPN software like Hotspot Shield, Softy through all that. But one I re really recommend taking a look at is called Pure VPN, which is one I've been using a lot lately. And for me, just like whenever I'm like downloading, downloading stuff on the internet or gaming online, um, you know there are a lot of people. Not everyone, but there are a lot of people on there who will, tr who will get your IP address and try to like DDoS attack you or, or um you know, try to SWAT you or something like that. And to, and I use the VPN because the VPN hides my IP address and stops them from being able to do that. Like, if I have my VPN, I'm um, pure VPN enabled right now. And I'll show you if I try to look at my IP address. Website takes a minute to load sometimes. It thinks I'm in Algeria. I am not. And it can't really tell my location at all. Whereas if I were to go to this website with my VPN disabled, it would tell me exactly where I live. And again, this is just a thing I, I do to protect myself against people trying to get my IP address and DDoS me or, you know, or swap me or something like that. So that's a pretty good way to do it. Um, if you're already under a DDoS or like a DDoS attack or something, but D I say DDoS because that's what's coming to mind right now, because there's been a lot of it going on lately. Um, if uh, you know, probably the best thing to do is just call your ISP, tell them what's going on, and then talk, see if they can stop it. Or what you can also do is, you know, set your computer's uh, or your network's uh, firewall rules. Look, look for like look. I can't really show you this because it depends on your router and all that. But one thing you can do if you're already under DDoS attack is just um, set your uh, go to set your net set, put up like a set like a network firewall and then just uh, like set your maybe set your network firewall to block un like abnormally large amounts of traffic. And all that, and then that should keep you pretty good, keep you safe pretty well from a DDoS attack. And um, that's and that should uh, prevent people from being able to really successfully DDoS you. But probably the best way to data to do it is to try to stop them from being able to start DDoSing you in the first place. Because I mean, like a firewall will help, but in the end, I mean, if their attack is like unfathomably big like really really big and over it can still kind of overwhelm your network so again one i one i suggest taking a look at is pure vpn which i which i was able to get it for free i'm not sure exactly how to be honest because their webs pure, pure vpn download And and I recommend Pure VPN because they have pretty fast connections. Uh, it has gotten maybe like a little bit slow for me when like I'm downloading a lot of stuff, but other than that, the VPN connection on Pure VPN is pretty fast. And I also can just have it set so that automatically when I open when I when I open my computer, the VPN connects to somewhere random in the world and hides my IP address, which is a pretty cool feature. Here's the link for Pure VPN. As you can see, they have it. It's taking a while to load because, you know, my internet's being kind of slow right now. It's not because of the VPN though. Uh, and here's Pure VPN. As you can see, they have it for Mac, iOS, Android, Linux, PS4, Xbox, and basically all the major gaming consoles, all the major computer. I guess I'll go with the term computer devices and all that. So what you can do is just uh, install. I just have it running on my computer and all my whole network. But you know, you can install v Pure VPN for Windows, Mac, Pure VPN for iOS, Android, and you can also just. And I'm not sure if all routers are compatible with this, but you can you can install it to your 
router and then your whole network should be routed through the VPN. So yeah, it's, it's, that's pretty neat. Anyway, that's about it for this video. If you, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is what's up 290 and I am signing out. Have a nice day, and uh, uh, hopefully I'll, uh, you know, see you next video.